everybody. I know it's been so long since I have um, made a video, and of course here I am again waiting to pick up kids. It seems like lately I don't have a lot of free time, but that's okay. I know that the free time will come. Um, man, today was a crazy day. I am glad that the day at school is done. Um, I'm still low carbing. I'm still doing Adkins, and I feel really good. I am got probably about 30 more pounds before my goal, um, and then I'm going to see. There's really a number on the scale that I want to see, but I think that mentally it's a good number, but physically I'm going to probably not look very healthy, and um, that's not an image I want to portray to anybody, um, to my children, to my family, to my friends, to even you guys, you know? I am um, still teaching. I am wanting to begin to do a little bit of freelance writing, though. So I'm trying to figure a way to squeeze all this in into one time. And I think that I can do it. I'm really looking forward to spending more time writing because that's my heart's desire for my, my life. I've always, it's a dream that I've wanted to chase. I think I hit a lot underneath the weight. And I am. Um, I didn't think I was capable, and I was afraid of rejection, and our society, the way it is so twisted, I know that even if it would have been a great storyline, you have to sell yourself with it too, you know? Yes, I know there's overweight authors out there all the time, but I wasn't at my best, and um, now that I'm finding a little bit of that confidence that I need... I know that um, this is a dream that I want to pursue, and I do plan to try to at least chase it and see where it, what happens. Um, of course, I want to write for uh, you know write for God because I am a Christian, and that's what my focus is. And the Christian writing, the fiction, and all that is just spurring. The business is booming. There's so much out there that wasn't out there years ago. And I want to be a part of that. You know, had I chased the dream when I first had it, I could have helped pioneer that. But um, that's okay. It's all right. There's a season for everything. And God might plant a seed in us to, to do something with our lives. But he doesn't necessarily want us to take it on all right then. Um... I didn't have enough life of experience. I didn't have enough to say. I had enough that I could have written about using my imagination, but I didn't have enough in my own life to be able to apply to anything and have the, the writing I have have heart um, and that I do have now. You know, I'm not saying I'm perfect or what I have to say everybody wants to hear, but... Um, I'm excited. That's something I'm very excited about. Um, of course, we went through Hurricane Ike, and I'm very blessed to say that our home had no damage. Of course, we're really fixing to have the first rain uh, this evening and tomorrow since the storm. It's almost three weeks ago, four weeks ago, almost a month ago. Wow. So, you know, the true damage will be seen, but... From what we can tell, everything looks just fine. And our, all our family, everybody is just fine. There are so many bodies there still digging up and finding. And it's so sad. So sad. We were blessed. We were truly blessed and protected. Um, gosh, I don't know what else to say. I have a lot that I want to say on my blog. Um... I could figure out how to put a link over there, over there on the side, I will. Otherwise, down there in the comments, I might just leave a link to a written blog that I do. Uh, I've had it for a while. I've had several different ones through the years, and some, most of them I've just closed because it was just me rambling. I wish I wouldn't have, though, because it would have been neat to go back and to read and to know what my thoughts and stuff were two years ago, three years ago, but this one I've had up for over a year, and I, I like to write in it, so it's pretty, 
it's pretty updated regularly. Um, of course, I'm a girl, you know. I always have something to say. <laughs> I guess that's it. I don't have anything to really share. I do have a new friend out there doing Atkins with me, someone in my own life um, that I could see face to face, and and her I want to root on. Julie, I just, you know, you're going to do so good. I know you're going to do good. And if you ever need someone to talk to, you know, or just have got to vent, or, or you're having a craving for something that you just almost can't say no to, call me at any time. I'm here. I know the struggles. I know how hard it is. It's still hard, even now. Anyway, I know <laughs> for me this is this is it's a life change completely, and everybody will tell you that. But some of us mean it, some of us don't. I thought as I started losing, I'll just lose. I'll just keep up with this until I lose it all, and then I can go back to normal. But I don't feel good when I eat no normal food. You know, normal for me is low carb all the way. I feel my very best. I can think clearly, and I'm not fogged. I'm not, I don't know. I just have a ton of energy. I just am at my best. I'm at my peak performance. And so, anyway, I guess that's it. I just wanted to, just to say hi. I hate not being able to post a video because some of you guys, you know, that I'm subscribed to, when you don't post one for a while, I just feel like I miss you, like I'm missing part of my family. And so, I don't know if anybody's like that with my videos, of course, but I just don't want to disappear off the face of the earth and people wonder what happened to that crazy lady. So, I guess until I've got a little extra time in the afternoon waiting on the kids, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.